tour. Usually when guests come on 3 Plus U, their reasons for being here are pretty straightforward and easy to talk about, but not our next guest. What he does is fascinating. It applies to almost everyone watching, but the concept of it is deep enough that he and I spent more than an hour talking in, in my office about how to even begin our conversation this morning. So listen as we talk, because I have a feeling it's going to strike a chord with you too. This is Dr. Dave Aiken. He has tonal spine chiropractic here in Chattanooga, and what he does is about so much more than your body's aches and pains. Although you did say your name is kind of providential for what you do for a living, right, it Dr. Is. Aiken? That's right. Good to yeah. see you. Good to see you as well. Great, great to be here. I love the fact that, and we'll talk about the chiropractic side of the business to start with, mm -hmm. that you yourself have been in a position that a lot of your patients are in now. You were a kid playing guitar mm -hmm. and you had your own aches and pains. That's right, yeah. Um, you know, I was studying to essentially be a professional jazz guitar player. That's what I wanted to do. And uh, what ended up happening was, is I developed an overuse injury where I experienced, it was like an electrical charge in my wrists. Mm -hmm. And it was essentially from playing, but playing like this. And there was a lot of tension in my body when I was learning how to play guitar. And that's what brought me into chiropractic. The electrical charge, isn't that what you just said? That's, yes. Does that circle us back then to the name of tonal spine? The word tonal is important. Can you explain that? Yes, so um, it does in a way. So essentially what tone is all about is when we um, experience our world, for instance, as unsafe. The very first thing that ends up happening in our nervous system is our tone adjusts to meet that. And you can think of tension in the body as a reflection of your tone. You could also think of tone as a reflection in the mind and also in the emotional heart. So for me, what, it, what was going on was there was a lot of tension around becoming, a lot of tension of trying to get my chops up to be in school, and there's a lot of pressure around that. Mm -hmm. And so what ended up happening was is I experienced that tone in my posture and as tension, and it's something that we all experience every day in our body. Vocabulary matters. Yes. So sometimes you might use a word that we don't know it by definition yet, but if you explain it, it'll make sense to us and we go, oh, okay, I get it. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about the tone of the body, yes. what do you mean? Yeah, so, you know, you can think of it this way. When you walk into a room yeah. and you have, let's just say you walk into a place that is unsafe, before your brain can even make sense of the environment, your body is already making adjustments. Your physiology changes, your tension rises, your mind gets very sharp. And that's all before the brain can even figure out what's happening. So that tone is really the very first thing to adapt to our environment. What ends up happening is, is our mind starts to make sense of what that tone is all about mm -hmm. and starts to take the things that come into our perception and we develop uh, essentially meaning to that tone, to that tonal adjustment. Uh, it affects our emotions, it affects our body, it affects our mind. And you can think about every experience that we have, it's not just mental, it's not just emotional, it's not just in the body, it's the whole system of who we are, what we are, mm -hmm. responds in concert to that event. That is tone. Tone is the, the, uh, the whole system in its response. So that is where what you do at Tonal Spine mm -hmm. is different from what people may have experienced someplace else because it is not quote an adjustment correct it is really a, a transitioning of your life that occurs for that's people. a great way to put it yeah so we do gentle contacts to the spine and what that is is it's a cue to the brain to pay attention mm -hmm. to what has become unconscious anything our nervous system has something brilliant about it anything mm -hmm. that we do for a long period of time ends up becoming like set as a normal set point. Okay. And when that happens, if we experience tension, for instance, and mm -hmm. this is our chronic state of how we relate to our life, how we relate to relationships, and really just the pressure of who we are in meeting the world, mm -hmm. which really is established in our youth, once that is established in our system, um, and it becomes something that we live through every day, our brain stops saying, hey, this is tension. It starts to say, hey, this is normal, this is us, this is what we hold. So you've done this position with me quite a lot yes. when you and I have spoken. Yeah. And at 
hurts my heart every time I see you do it because yeah. my mom's mind goes straight uh -huh. to the middle schoolers out there. 100%. Every parent probably watching remembers when their kids were in the third and fourth grade and they ran with the with you know verve, uh -huh. and they hit seventh grade and all of a sudden the child they once knew looks like this. Yes. So is that sometimes an outward sign of an mm. inward problem? Uh, it very much is. And really, you can think of this, see, posture is so incredibly important. It's not just how we hold ourselves. It's how we relate to the world. So when we want to be small, when we don't want to be seen, and that comes, that's very normal in the world today because mm -hmm. of all the pressure that we have, or when we're holding something like shame. Shame is a very archetypical posture. It's something that is part of our limbic system, our mammalian system. And so you see it even in, in dogs. It's what it is, is extension right here, and it's also that tail tucking. And so when mm -hmm. that goes down, the brain also interprets this position. Because, you know, you can think the brain is always interpreting signals from our nervous system. Right. Right? It's, you know, you touch a hot burner, hot, move the hand. So the brain is interpreting the signals from our posture as, okay, we feel shame. What is it that we feel shame about? And it starts to develop a meaning, a relationship with our environment. So when you see the normal pressures of what children are experiencing today, we are in a very chronic state of overwhelm. The demand on our nervous systems, the demand on who we are, the social media and how that it trains just the youth to essentially be you know, forward facing in such a more perfect way. Mm -hmm. All of these pressures are overwhelming the nervous system and that's what we're seeing when we're seeing that posture happening. So I'm gonna catch a commercial break before I run because we're gonna okay. pick up our conversation on the other side of this break. But for the parents out there who might be saying, this is a result of being on your phone, hmm. not necessarily. This could be the result of something happening pressure within your life. Is that right? It is right. And they become cyclical. They start to interact with each other. Okay. So let's catch this break. I told you it's kind of a deep conversation, but let's talk about what you're doing then at Tonal Spine to really solve this for people okay. when we come back. Great. Stick around. Nothing brings us together like football and good food.